beautiful Virgo. Happy birthday. If it's your birthday today, we are still in Virgo season. My birthday is on the 13th. In a couple of days, Monday, I'm finna get turn up. Listen, why do people take us Virgos for idiots? We get token for idiots you know like we are the sign of service right so naturally naturally we like to give we like to help and serve others and other people probably think huh that's why we're we're probably classed as so myster- mysterious and some people like to class us as uh secretive because they question they question why why is virgo so nice why is virgo so nice because we are we're the messengers of god right good does live on earth um i'm doing a past present and future spread i got clarification in the past yeah that seven of swords energy so it's gonna i'm I'm not gonna keep this general i'm just gonna keep it with how i see it it's either gonna resonate with you or it's not please remember to give me a thumbs up if it does okay but you know that's cheating energy that's deceitful energy whether you're lying to yourself whether that was people lying to you taking you for a prick a dickhead this is my slang here in the uk if you're new to the channel let me know where you reside in the world but yeah taking virgos for a freaking an idiot okay and a lot of us have been doing the work we've been doing the work the clarification that we got was the six of cups the four of swords and the the page of cups yeah so why is this energy here why has it been left in the past because we worked on ourselves, okay some people try to keep us in the past because we have a connection with them or we never lose hope or we always we were always sincere therefore why do we hate we we have no reason to hate you virgo has no reason to hate you but we have a reason to keep you in the past the journey of self-love a new love looking for a newfound love us virgos us single virgos we're not bitter in a sense where we've given up on love we just don't give a shit for anybody that is not going to give back, reciprocate that energy. The Queen of Cups, you know, for me, the first thing that came to mind was we have no passion, uh, compassion, I mean. No more compassion. No more feeling sorry for yourself, for others. You know, we're fed up. No more taking our kindness for a weakness. You know, that's where shit's at right now. Why should we? Why should we take um, people's bullshit just because we're kind? No. It's self-love now. It's time to put ourselves first. Okay? A lot of us are suppressing our emotions and putting it to the side now. I've had enough of giving love. Some people are emotionally blackmailing us. That's what they're doing. Some people are being very melodramatic. Some people some people need to be responsible for their own emotions. I'm not saying us, I'm saying others. Moving into the the future energy, yeah. I, the first thing I picked up on, well actually the clarification for the Queen of Cups we got was We've got the Ten of Wands, the Hyphen, and the Five of, of of Pentacles. So it could be like a lot of us, people will hold us back. People will suppress us. People will stop us from thriving, okay? We've got a whole lot of responsibilities. We have to keep our spiritual in check, our mentality in check, our values in check. Ain't nobody got time. We're disconnecting from people that are not on the same values as us that hold us, that suppress us, that make us feel heavy. No, 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 we're cutting off from that. That Ace of Swords, okay? We don't wanna give people our truth because we know how much our truth can can really hit home. It can really hit home, all right? And people, don't, people are not gonna wanna hear it. They're not gonna wanna hear it. 
they'll act crazy once they get our truth. You know, I've said stuff to friends in the past and it hasn't been pretty. They've respected me in the long run for it. But in the short term, it hasn't been pretty at all, okay? But Ace of Swords also talks about overanalyzing, which is definitely us, okay? And and having a clouded, a clouded judgment and trying to figure out... Because we've been so hurt so much, right? We've had all this bullshit that we don't want to keep repeating we don't want to have to give people our oath if you don't know then you don't know we want people on the same agenda as us we don't want to be stuck you don't want fear to hold us back you know a lot of us have ideas a lot of us know that it's best not to speak our truth out of the fear of really upsetting people sometimes it's best just to keep our mouth shut and let people get on with it if people want to fuck up their life if they're in disharmony let them do it there's no need for them to hold us back and suppress our our being our purpose our service Listen, Virgo, if we really don't want people to take the piss out of us, then now's the time to really stop that from happening. It's a time to really look in the mirror and see shit for what it is. It's time to take action. Angels are saying, what are you afraid of? Give people your truth. If they're meant to be with you, or if they're meant to stay in your lives, they're going to stay in your lives. Angels are actually saying, speak your truth. It's a time to forgive yourself. It's a time to forgive others. There's sadness here. I mean, whether it's, for me as a Virgo, I feel sadness inside because I feel like, when am I ever going to get someone or have someone around me that doesn't want me for the material, accepts me for who I am. Because we are sad. Some of us are all sad, whether it's friends, family, lovers, you know. We know people are playing us. We know that. We know it. And we're just kind of suppressing these emotions. And we're bored of it. But there's so much beautiful... Wow, there's so much uh, beautifulness here. There's so much. To, there's so much to learn. Angels are saying there's so much to learn from shitty situations, from shitty people. There's no need to. I mean, what I like to say is continue to kill him with kindness. Kill him with kindness, darling. Kill him. Right, Virgos, crystals. Do we have a message for us, Virgos? One card, please. One card. I objectively, this is hilarious, I objectively observe myself in my interactions with others. I watch my words and actions from various perspectives. I work towards self-improvement at every opportunity. I notice the mirrors and projections without judgment or preconceptions. Okay, I get you. And it's hard. It's hard. Have you noticed that people and situations are reflecting your feelings or thoughts? Pay attention to the messages these mirrors provide. Take stock of what work you need to do to improve your self-awareness and personal growth. So even though a lot of us are probably feeling quite like, fuck everybody, you know, I think angels are suggesting that, you know, there's a need to let go and let God. There's a need to try to understand yeah, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. If you've got something to say, Virgo, say it. Say it. You know, there's a need to be honest here. Because maybe it, can, it will make things worse. It can only make things worse. 
It's either people are going to respect you, they're going to love you for it, they're going to hate you for it. You know, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'm going to get out of here. It's my weekend, birthday weekend. We finna turn up. I'll do a bonus, hopefully, if I get time. Love, peace and light, guys, all right? Mm.